Okay, uh, the first question tonight is going to be generated from this video. I want you to have fun. Remember, this is a family event. So that means your parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, everybody should get involved. Look up the answers, whatever you need to do. Have fun uh, over the next hour, and good luck, everybody. How you guys doing this evening? So our first question is, who was the artist in the video? Who sang the opening song? So you can look up answers. You can ask family members. Put your answer in the chat. First person to get it gets a point. Who sang the opening song? Let's go. The time is ticking. It's ticking. Let's go. I know you guys got this. Should we give him a hint? I don't know. You want to do a move? Mm, no, do a move no, no, no hints, no hints. <laughs> you know, you might have to ask mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. That's somebody in that house. We're accepting the top three people. They couldn't, yeah, they couldn't hear the music. How about if I told you he's the godfather of soul? All right, here, here's a little clip. Thank you, we got it. The answer, James Brown. Next question. Who said differences can be a strength? Differences can be a strength. Who said this? Who said differences can be a strength? You know, we didn't discuss our theme. Is anybody going to appear? I think we might have a few We might have a few. You think so? A few guests, yeah. Yeah? It is the third annual black history mm, jeopardy the third annual wow that's interesting the it's third annual <laughs> hmm you think anybody who appeared last year might appear this year i don't know we'll see we'll see okay we'll see, all right yeah. I, I hear you all right never know all right some answers are coming in if you see someone's already put in an answer don't give up put in your answer too You're good. Okay. The answer was Condoleezza Rice. Next question. At what age did Ruby Bridges fight for the cause of civil rights? At what age did Ruby Bridges fight for the cause of civil rights? There's a great story about Ruby Bridges. Oh, I'm yeah. Interested. Fantastic story. You go yes. ask Miss Soper in the library for the story. It's really amazing. Uh oh. All right. Uh oh. That was a quick one. Ruby was looking only good. Six looking years good. Old. Good job, guys. Okay, we have a guest from the high school asking the question. So my school um, When did Martin Luther King give us "I Have a Dream" speech? Here. All right. So he said, "When did Martin Luther?" King Jr. give his I Have a Dream speech. When did Martin Luther King Jr. give his I Have a Dream speech? I know you guys know this one. An iconic speech.
You know what? What am I? Are you Vanna? Or Anna? What, what, what what do you this year? Uh, I think I, I still will be referred to as Anna Vanna. Anna Vanna. Yeah. Okay, Anna Vanna. Okay. I get confused sometimes because some one year you want to be Anna, and next year you want to be I, Vanna. I, 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 I don't know. I, like I, don't know. It I get confused. Together. Okay, right. Gotcha. All right. So we're looking for the the date and the year. So on what day did Martin Luther King Jr. give his I Have a Dream speech? There should be a specific day. Come on, guys. I know you got this one. Can we tell them what season it was, maybe? I don't know. That's a good idea. It was the oh, fall, right? Okay, we got one. We're looking for a few more answers. It was the fall. We're good. Okay, it was September 9th, 1965. Oh my gosh, it was 63. Ah, Thank you for correcting Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> All right, next question. This African American mathematician is credited for his con for her contributions in creating what is known as the global positioning system. Mm. This African American mathematician is credited for her contributions in creating what is known as the global positioning system. Who was it? Who is that? I know we got some mathematicians out there. Some answers are coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See it? We're looking for one more answer. All right, we got it. All right. Good job, guys. West. Good job. Next question. <laughs> Next question. This 90s rapper is also remembered for his poetry. Who wrote The Rose That Grew From Concrete? Got a lot of rappers out there, I know. Let's oh, get yeah. this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, looks like it's. Uh-oh. They know this one. Uh-oh. It's Tupac Shakur. Tupac Shakur. Sh should we have did a little rap of no? If you can. No, yeah, you okay. Next, next time. Next time. Next time. All right, another guest <clears throat> from the high school. 2 1. Giovanni Baumfine, a question for my Hagen is which president officially noticed Black History Month? So his question was which president officially recognized Black History Month? We should probably say a special thanks to our friends at the high school. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Previous Monhagen yep. students. Yep, yep. Look at them now. <laughs> all right. Look like we uh All right. We all got right, it. all right. That was President Gerald Ford. Good job, guys. Good job. Giovanni <laughs> Next question. What black female refused to give up her seat on a public bus that sparked the Montgomery, Alabama boycott of 1955? Oh, that was. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. That was quick. That was Rosa Parks. Good job. All right, we're moving now. Okay, here's another friend from the high school. Let's go, my Hagen Middle School. I'm Alexander, former former student. Who said life is not a spectator sport? All right, his question was Let's go. who's. Let's go, my Hagen Middle School. I'm Alexander, I'm former, play again. former student. Who said life is not a spectator sport? Who said life is not a spectator sport? Ah, uh, that's a good question. Famous, famous person. That, here. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Whoa, whoa. All right. All right, and that was famous baseball player Jackie Robinson. Let's go. Let's go, my guys are doing great, boy, out there. Next question. Who is the actor, producer, and screenwriter who created the character Medea? I feel like laughing already. All, all <laughs> the movies are fantastic. They're all good. They're, they are quite funny. All right. Good. There okay. we go. There we go. 
Tyler Perry. All right. All right. Good evening, Mark Higgins. It's your boy, Z.I. and Nicky, a fellow Mark Higgins student himself. Now, my question is, which city is the birthplace of hip-hop? All right, so his question was, which city is known as the birthplace of hip-hop? Come on. Let's, let's, want to do something? Let's, what give me a beat. I'll follow you. you you're going right. to follow me. I thought I was going to follow you. <laughs> you do that two-step. I'll do my jig. It'll be great. <laughs> oh, boy. Which yeah. city is known as the birthplace of hip-hop? Ah. You know what I want to say, but then they'll know it. What? If, I, I, we, I can't, know. we can't say that. Then they'll know it. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, they do. They do. <laughs> Uh, we, we give them a hint. Uh, I think they're going to get this hint. one. Which city is known as the I know you guys got hop. this. Are you hip hop fans? Not, not that far away from here. No, not far at all. Mm, one, of the, one more answer. I, 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 I almost said something. No, I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, You're I'm dying not, to say it. I'm dying to say it, but. I, but we always call it that. Okay. Good. All right. And the answer is, you want to say it? The Boogie Down Bronx. He's dying to say that. Got a lot of Bronx fans in there. All right. Next question. What do the initials NAACP stand for? NAACP. What do the initials stand for? The answer's coming in. All right, guys, I know you know this. All right. All right. It stands for National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. Next question. My name is Ozzy Morgan, fellow Monhagen student. Um, I'm here at Middletown High School now for the, on the basketball varsity team. And my question for you is, what was Muhammad Ali's real name? All right, his, Isaac's question was, what was Muhammad Ali's original name? All right. What was he known as before Muhammad Ali? One of the greatest fighters out there. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Is that is that, that might be a question. That, is that what he said? <laughs> Whoa! He said. Foreshadowing. <laughs> 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 okay, and the answer was uh, Cassius Clay. All right, guys, good job. Awesome. My name is Ozzy Morgan. Fellow. This man lived during the Civil War. He was prominent. He was a prominent abolitionist, and even wrote a book about his time as a slave. Who was he? He was a great man. Famous man. He did a lot, didn't he? He did, he did yeah. did a lot. Did a lot for him. We, we could have asked a bunch of different questions. Yeah, we today. could have a whole show, just him alone. And there's a picture of him out there, a little hint. Ah, there's even a hint. All right, guys, let's do it. We got answers coming in. We got we got our three answers. All right, the answer was Frederick Douglass. Ah, Mr. Douglas. Yes. Um, just a reminder to everyone, please put answers in the chat. And not in the, it was a question reminder, is that what it was? So question and answer. So please put the answers directly in the chat. Okay, next question. How many children did Dr. Martin Luther King have? How many children did Dr. Martin Luther King have?
Every time I hear that speech, I have a dream. It just, it just yeah. resonates right Kill, through you. You know, right? it, it's amazing. You know. Mm-hmm. All right. The answer was four children. All right. All right. You so know what? I'm gonna do go you, ahead and put up you, my bat signal you, now. Yeah, you hear something? <laughs> Sending it out there. Someone can save. Do you do you guys hear something? You hear somebody knocking on something? What's going on here? <laughs> Did we have him last year? He he likes to come back. It's hard to keep. Wow, him away. it's Batman! Batman. Whoa! <laughs> Everyone, please give it up for Bat Batman. Thank you for being here, Batman. Always a pleasure. Oh, yeah. It's good to see you again. Good to see you as well. How have you been? I've been good. How have uh, you been in Gotham City? You know we've been uh, we've been doing pretty well over there. Yeah. Again, a lot of ab workouts, as you can see. I can tell. We're doing that, yeah. 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 But otherwise, you know, in between. Yeah. Oh, excellent. All right, are you going to ask your question? Yes. Oh, they can't wait. All right, here we go. Hey, Batman. This actor studied directing at Howard University before his breakout role as the Black Panther from 2016 to 2019. Sadly, he passed away in 2020 from his battle with cancer. Mm. Mm. It's a good question to honor this amazing man. I think, yeah, I knew they were going to get that oh, one. Oh, we got it. All right, do you want to give the answer? Chadwick Boseman. That's very right. Thank right. you, everyone. It's been so nice having you. Thank you very much for having me. Definitely. Have fun doing all your superhero duties. Yes, a, yeah. a big shout out to uh, to Bruce Wayne. Paid for me to be here tonight. Oh, yeah, He's very great. generous. He's actually paying for all of this. Yes, you know? no, I, I knew yeah. he was uh, on the donor list. Yes. I'll, I'll make sure I, I let him know. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Batman. Thank you for having me. Bye-bye, everybody. All right. You know, he never disappoints us. Right? He's so this busy. is This he is the third busy. year he's appeared, and he's so busy. He is. He's How does busy. he find time to appear on our show? Who yeah. knows? All right. All right. Next question. What black male was the founder of Negro History Week? which eventually became Black History Month. We got answers rolling in. Good job, guys. Black History Month. All right. All right, guys. Good job. Carter G. Woodson. Job, guys. Oh, we got another guest from our very popular Mr. Stewart. I, I, I know that guy. Cannot drive out darkness. <laughs> only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. All right. So who said this? I think uh, Mr. Thomas gave a little hint earlier. Can you play it again, please? Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Thank you, Mr. Stewart. So who said that? And that was Martin Luther King Jr. Tell you, a famous man, I tell you. Unbelievable. Darkness cannot drive out. Okay, next question. What American jazz singer is referred to as the first lady of soul or the queen of jazz? First lady of song. Or the queen of jazz. Or the queen of jazz. So we had the king of, no, the godfather of Godfather of soul. And the queen of jazz. And the queen of jazz. All right, and the answer is Ella Fitzgerald. All right, good job, guys. All right, next question. Dr. Charles Drew was famous for developing techniques for blood, blank, blood. This is a hard one, but very, very important. So many famous people, you know? It's, it, it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. So many contributions. I tell you. All right, we got the answers, and that was blood 
storage or blood transfusion. Ah. All right, we have another special guest coming up. was the black female who delivered a powerful poem at President Biden's inauguration. So which black female delivered the powerful poem at um, the presidential inauguration? Did you see that? I did see it. Poem? It's amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. She really rocked it. So who wrote that poem? Yep. Got a lot of positive feedback from that. You know that? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Looking good. Looking yeah, good. There. All right. And that was Amanda Gorman. All right. Who was the black hmm. female who delivered a Okay, hey, next question. What female African-American singer was known as the Queen of Soul? The Queen of Soul. That's some title. Yeah, it is. Queen of Soul. Wow. <laughs> Must be an amazing singer. You have to respect her for this. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know if that was. Uh oh. <laughs> I know I give it. <laughs> All right, and we are going to give an update on the scores. So we will see who is in the lead. Who else do you think is going to show up? We got Batman. Who else do you think might know. show up? I don't know. I've uh, been trying to think about it. Who, who was your favorite person you saw last year? Who, who like? You. Uh, My co -host. I tell you, boy, I, I feel the same way. I, a lot of love around here. I feel the same way. <laughs> okay, so we have the leaderboard. First place is Jalen Harmon with All right. 49 points. Go, Miss President. Uh, second place is Joven Manning with 32 points. Good job, Joven. And in third place is uh, Dijon McGinnis. All right. You guys are doing a great job. Guys good, good. Stars. Thank you so much. All right. All right, so we're going to continue. Next question. On what date and year did enslaved people in Gaveston, Texas, finally receive the news that they were free? Very important question, guys. Yeah, and we're looking for the day and the year. The day and the year. Uh-oh. Okay, and that was June 19th, 1865. Very good, guys. Good job. Good job. Next question. He was the first black man to become a lawyer when he passed the Ohio bar exam in 1854. Who was he? He is a pretty difficult exam to pass sometimes, the bar oh, exam. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a lot of credit. Yeah. 1854. <laughs> hey. First black man to become a lawyer. All right, guys. You know you got this. All right. We got one. We're looking for a few All right. More. Okay. All right. All right. It was John Mercer Langston. All right, I think, uh, do you hear that? I hear, I hear, in. I hear it, but I, but I think we, uh, let me read this, because I'm not sure what I'm hearing, so let me, let me get, oh. Uh, Something is flying in faster than the speeding bullets. D did he appear with us last year? Um, I don't know. I, um, uh, I think he did, yeah, but I think, I'm I think still maybe. confused because I don't know what is, is he, is he Clark Kent? Is he... Superman is I he? I think it depends on the day. He's a very what, he's a very confusing young man. Is. He's a very confusing young man. Oh my so, goodness, oh, oh, what's it's up? Clark. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do I, do I know you? Um, I don't know. 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 I
<laughs> I know you. I've been in the I've been in the Phantom Zone. I'm in Philadelphia for a while. Oh no. My name is Clark. Clark. Clark, Clark. have you gotten into the crib tonight? My name is Clark. Clark. Where is Clark. This, is this Metropolis? Clark Kent. That's who you are. I've You're been, I Clark feel like Kent. I've been living in Doomsday for a while. You're <laughs> Clark Kent. Better known as. I'm also a little weak. The sun hasn't been out recently. <laughs> Do I know you? You look very you. familiar. Superman, you, you need... That suit is... You got this. You remind me of... Are you Lex Luthor? <laughs> Only Lex can afford a suit like that. That is true. That is true. So so are you here to ask a question, Mr. Kim? I don't know. I, I just got here. And, <laughs> we can tell. And someone just called me Mr. Whitaker. And I... Who is this Mr. Whitaker? I don't know. You don't know Mr. Whitaker? He doesn't come to my mind, no. You don't know him? <laughs> Because they were telling me all about him. Yeah, I don't Someone know. was like, you have to be Mr. Whitaker. And I said, who is this dashing fellow I must meet? <laughs> they were telling me how wonderful and intelligent yeah. and charming he was. And I I have to meet I him. He, you don't know him? He went off to some other place. You he, know. Does he look like me? Do you know him? <laughs> so you do know him. Know. You know Mr. Whitaker. Coming back. It's been, a, it's been a hard couple days, let me tell you. But I'm Clark. I, I can Clark. see. He, he can prove it. I'm Clark. Yes. You like my tie? I do. I do. I'm a big Superman fan. It's getting a little hot in here. It's like, so are are you asking a question? Uh, I I, I see do this. You, do you know? I see this this TV and is Brainiac behind this? I don't know. Do you know Brainiac? Um, I'm I'm pretty sure he's. It's been a tough here. couple of days. I'm yeah. sorry. It's. You gotta work on that. Wait a minute. Are you familiar with the Phantom Zone? The Phantom Zone. Yeah. It's not a place to be. But he looks like Lex Luthor. Did you see Batman on your way? Is that there? Lois? Lois? Is that you? Are you Lois? Or is this the Bizarro world? I think it might be the Bizarro world. The Bizarro? <laughs> up is down, down is up. Oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I've lost my bearings. Okay, where are we? Is this a question? This is a question here, for you to ask. <laughs> oh, let me cover that up. I'm sorry. Right, okay. Clark Kent. Okay. Am I here? He said, is that the right question? The one under the logo. Like I said, it's been, it's been fighting dark side and doomsday. I mean, it's just been a doomsday couple of days. I mean, it's been tough. Okay. He said the time is always right to do what is right. That sounds a lot like Superman, but is yeah. that the right question or am I on the, oh, I'm on the wrong question? I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm it's sorry. Okay. okay. Okay, we're good. Okay. That can be the, that can be the question. It can? Guys, yeah. Can I ask another one since I'm here? <laughs> you can ask all the questions. Are you anymore. sure? Very nice to have you. Luthor. You got it. You got it. <laughs> so you, your question was, he, he said, the time is always right to do what is right. Superman. Is that is that your answer? Yes. <laughs> is that your guess? It's my answer. The that is not. That also, sounds like something Superman would say. This person is like a superhero. Maybe Superman got it from this individual. Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> one more. Let's do one more. Do you want to ask your question? Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who was the first African American Nobel Peace Prize winner? Who now, you know who brings peace and justice in the American way to society? Is, is it Superman? It is Superman. I knew it. <laughs> I you tell you. It. He's got it all together, that Superman. <laughs> <laughs> so, who was the first African-American Nobel Peace Prize winner? Oh, they got it. Ralph Bunch. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Clark Thank you. Superman. Do you know how I would get back to Metropolis? How? I don't know. Do you know? Oh. <laughs> Hop the A train. The man in the Batmobile. The, All right. Was that Bruce I saw leaving? Bruce. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you just go, gave away a secret identity, by the, the way, but go okay. Go to the Batmobile. Okay. Thank you. Bye, Thank everyone. you. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Let's hear it again for. I'm not sure what his name is. I don't that know if it's Superman, Clark word. Kent, Mr. Whitaker, whatever his name is. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you. <laughs> Super guests. All right, here's the next question. <laughs> I think he broke the mic, but uh, our next question is, this black scientist developed 300 products from peanuts such as cheese, milk, 
flour, ink, dye, wood, stains, linoleum, soap, and oils from medicine. Who was he? This is a serious guy. Yeah. This is one serious brother. Got it. Okay, George Washington Carver. Wow, good very good, guys. Good right. job. Next question. This holiday celebrates the freedom from slavery in the United States. And the, yeah, this is an official holiday now. Get off from school. All right, and you guys got it Juneteenth. All right, good job, guys. Awesome. Okay, we have another guest that you all know. Here's Mr. Daryl. Which Darryl. famous boxer would say, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? <laughs> Here, I'm going to play it one more time. Which famous boxer would say, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I know you guys have this one. Float All like right. a butterfly, sting the like a bee. Answers Muhammad Ali. Which famous boxer? Good job, guys. Good job. This black slave disguised himself as a white ship captain and sailed himself and other family members to freedom. He sailed past several Confederate Army checkpoints in the process. Who was he? Who is he, boys and girls? So we've had Who two superheroes show up two, already. Yeah. Don't they supposed yeah. to be out fighting crime? What are they doing here? I, I, this is I mean, I don't, I don't get it. This you, is an important event. Yeah, but know? so crime just goes to the side. They just they cause they havoc. They're friends. They got friends. I don't get it. All right. The answer is Robert Smalls. Next question. This black female is considered by many to be the greatest tennis player of all times. I know you guys know this yes. one. Oh, yeah. The answers are coming in. They oh, know. yeah. It's Serena Williams. Next question. This was the first state in the USA to abolish slavery. It did so in the year 1777. Name the state. And the answer is Vermont. Vermont. Good job, guys. Next question. Next question. This black surgeon performed the first successful open heart surgery wow. in the United States of America in 1893. His name was open heart surgery. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's serious. It is. It is. Wow. We do it every day now. All right, guys. Who was it? Who right, it was, was this young Dr. man? Daniel Hale Williams. All right. Good job. Good job. Next question. Who was the first person to make the turntable an instrument used in hip hop and rap? We got a lot of rap and hip hop questions, yeah, don't we? Yeah, for sure. New age, I tell you. Who was it? All right, guys. I know you got this. Who was the first person to make the turntable? I don't know if you even have any turntables anymore. No. no tur well, maybe. maybe <laughs> Somebody tomorrow. raised their hand. They had a turntable. <laughs> I guess they still out there. <laughs> maybe they do. I guess you, yeah, you're yeah, right. All you right. Say. Gotcha. I got you. You got three? Somebody said they had three. All right, and the answer was Grandmaster Flash. Ah, good job. All right, next one. A revival of American art, literature, and music centered in New York City in the 1920s. What was this called? 1920s revival. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> you ever been to a revival? I'm not sure. <laughs> no. Not in the 1920s. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have been 1920s, but. 
No, I, I don't know. But <laughs> I don't I, think I, it would have been 1920. Unless you have a secret we don't know about. It could have been 1920s. I don't know. Uh, this was the Harlem Renaissance. Ah, good job. Uh, good job, right, guys. Next question. Next question. Who was the first African-American woman elected to the United States Congress and the first woman to run for the Democratic Party's presidential nomination? Who is this lady? It's probably before your time, though, right? Yeah, I, I yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I think know. it's before your time. I remember <laughs> her, but I think it's before your time. Right. All right, and the answer is Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm. All right. So when I was walking in today, I noticed some some what, spider webs. And spider around. webs around. To clean up, you know, I don't know. Was it? Did we have a a spider person or? Is that so, what they're from? I, I don't know. Uh, may, may should we find we, out? We should. Uh, I hear we something. I hear something. So um, I don't know. Uh, spider man. Ah, uh, it is. Woo! You gonna ask a question? Sending it off with your spidey sense. Go. Oh, that was amazing. Thank you, Spider Woman. <laughs> what state was the first to elect a black governor doing so in 1989? Thank you, Spider. Take care, Spider. Spider. All right. So, Spider Man's question What state was the first to elect a black governor doing so in 1989? An answer. All right, guys. Spider Man. And it was Virginia. Virginia, good Thank job. You. Good job. <laughs> All right, job. next question. What was Malcolm X's birth name? What was Malcolm X's birth name? Spider was he, she left quick, didn't she? I saw in, I saw two moves out. and she was gone. Yeah. What is that about? Uh, Maybe she wanted to go and fight crime where the yeah. others wanted to be here. Yes. That's what it is. She I get it. Like she didn't want dilly dally. Superhero. I get it. I get, get it. Yeah. She's a real superhero then. She Maybe. Is. All right. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. All right. I got you. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys. What was Malcolm X's birth name? You got it. His name was Malcolm Little. Malcolm Little. Next question. Who is the president? Who is the present United States of America's Secretary of Defense? He is the first African American Secretary of Defense. He was also the first black commander of the USA Central Command. That's a lot of titles, man. That is. It's an important person. Wow. Yeah. Who's this guy? Do you know who it is? I do. You do know? You? No, let's let them tell us. They know it. They it know it. All right. General Lloyd Austin. Good job, guys. Good job. Next question. What football player was the first to take a knee during the national anthem as a sign of peaceful protest? I think they'll know this one. Just this serious is their time. All right, it was Colin Kaepernick. All right, wow. guys, good job, good job. Right, moving on. Next question. Who was the father of hip-hop and created the break? Ah, uh, now we're talking. Is the break a dance move? The break's a dance. Can you, can you do it? I got to spin on the floor and everything, and I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I got, I, I don't know. Maybe tomorrow if I have sneakers on, I'll let you see how it's done. All right. Yeah. Maybe we yeah. should have someone do this in our show. Uh, DJ ah. Cool Herc. All right. All right. Next question. Who is considered the leading trumpeter and one of the most influential artists in jazz history who helped develop jazz into a fine art? Wow, that's serious also. 
Ooh, they got that right away. That's serious. Louis Armstrong. Good job. Next question. This person was an artist known for her statement pieces, most notably sil silhouettes. Silhouettes. Who is this Who person? Who is this person? Looks pretty cool. It does look cool. Yeah. Some really cool art. Famous person known for her silhouette. Wow. Great to have talent like that, huh? Oh. Yeah. Can you draw? You I got you got that you got those skills? No. No? Not really. Mm. Not, not like some of the other artists. Yeah. I think us. you have skills. I think you have some skills. Okay. So the correct answer uh. is Kara Walker. Ah. Good job. Carol Wapner. Kara Walker. Okay. All right. So next question. This person gave the I have a dream speech. This oh, person gave this. I have a dream speech. I know you guys know this I'm one. Talking about him. I know you know this one. All right. Martin Luther King. All right. Jr. Good job. Good job. All right. Next question. On April 8th, 1974, this player of the Atlanta Braves hits his 715th career home run. Breaking Babe Ruth's legendary record of 714 homers. Who uh, was this? Do you remember this? I remember this. Yeah. Yep, I do. Hate Did to say you? it, but I do. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. Eh, it's, a, it's a long time ago. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Who was this yeah. famous Atlanta Braves baseball player? All right, guys. All right, it was Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron, Mr. Go Aaron. Back to the leaderboard. All right, so first, in first place is Jalen Harmon. So Jalen is holding that Jaylen. lead. Second place is Joven Manning. Third place is Jamie Buchanan. All right, guys, keep yeah. it up, keep it up, keep it up. Anybody going to catch Jalen? I don't know. Oh, Jalen, yeah. Um. Next question. The artist Jacob Lawrence is known mostly for. This is a hard the one. The artist Jacob Lawrence is known mostly for. And keep in mind there are prizes for the top five contestants. So don't give up. Keep playing. Keep putting your answers in there. I Wait, think we're we're sure? it's it's uh it's coming. It, okay. Okay, so we're gonna. Uh, okay, it was colorful story illustrations. Next one. Jean Michel Bisquet That's was it. most famous for. <laughs> That's it. What was he most famous for? We we were practicing. We're practicing that all day, so. <laughs> We got to take some French no, lessons. Oh. What was he most famous for? What was he most, most famous for? I'm, I'm always thinking about how to say that name now. We got we to gotta study it. that name. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's get it moving. I know you guys got this. You got this. You got this. This is a hard one. Uh-oh. 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 All right. So I he was most famous for street art. All right. Next question. He was one of the most important black writers of the Harlem Renaissance of the 1920s, which celebrated black life and culture. Who is he? Harlem Renaissance. Hmm. Uh oh. Hands are up. We got some answers. Okay, guys. Looking good. Looking good. We're good. It's Langston Hughes. Langston Hughes. Awesome job. Next question. Who was the first black music artist to win an Emmy Award? A Grammy Award 
and Oscar, a Tony Award for its excellence in television, music, Broadway, and film. Wow, Amazing. another serious person. That's crazy. Who was the first first person? Good to have those skills. All right. Here we go. Here we go. This is coming in. I know you've heard of this guy. All right. All right. He's got a silky voice, right? All right. I don't you know what's any, going on over there, any but coming in? I don't know. You got one. Does anybody know what's going on? All right, and that is John Legend. John Legend. Okay, next question. What type of music did African American artists use as an outlet for their frustrations with racism and racial inequality? Mmm. What kind of music did they use? What kind of music? What was an outlet? Wow. What do you think? I'm not gonna guess. Not gonna guess. Gonna All right. Outlet. All right. <laughs> we'll leave it up to the kids. All right, students. Let's. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Got uh -oh. it. Got it. All right. The blues. Right. The blues. Susan McKenzie was the third African American woman and the first in New York State to receive a degree in what? A degree in blank. In what? What do you think? First woman to receive a degree. In uh oh. I see it. I see it. I see it. Answers coming in. A degree in medicine. All right. Good job, guys. Good job. Next question. Who was the first African American lawyer in the United States? Another attorney. Wow. Powerful degree. Yeah. Opens a lot of doors. What did you say? I said a lot of big minds. A lot of big minds. All right. A lot of big minds. Gotcha. We got doctors. All right. And that was making. All right. There we go. Knowledge. I see something. Go All right. Good job, okay. guys. Next question. What important invention is Garrett Morgan known for? What important invention is Garrett Morgan known for? We got some coming in. All right, and that All is right. the traffic light. Good job, guys, the traffic light, wow. Next question, at 14 years of age, Marseille Martin became the youngest what? The youngest what? 14. 14, wow. 14? At 14. What do you? Amazing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, they're coming in. She became the youngest executive producer. Wow, what a title. Next question. This mathematician and scientist is created for designing the layout of the Washington, D.C. Who was he? Designing the layout of Washington, D.C. Wow, that's... Who do you think is going to win this? I mean, Jalen's. Uh, well, she, she's she, up there. she's we'll the president. Uh oh, I'm here. It's, she, I, I don't. Who don't? Who? Maybe, you never know. We'll see, there's, there's when it gets down to the wire, bunch you of know. Prizes. All right, Benjamin Benneker. Benjamin, all right. Next question. He was the first African-American Supreme Court lawyer. 
Who was he? First African American Supreme Court lawyer. Another lawyer. Wow. Amazing. But the Supreme Court. Yeah. I mean, highest I mean, court in the land. I mean, hey, the I don't know. In the land. I don't know. <laughs> Gotta wear those robes, though. You know? Well, right? Don't wear them comfy. robes, them black robes. I don't, I don't Something know. Something breathing. Ah, I don't want to wear a robe. <laughs> Would you want to wear a robe? I'd, I'd wear that to work. You wear yeah. it to work? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. First African American Supreme Court lawyer. All right, guys. Who is this person? Okay, it's Thurgot Marshall. Good job. All right, guys. All right. These three black ladies were major brains with math and computer skills behind the scenes for America's NASA space explorations. They helped to launch John Clenn, the first successful American astronaut, into space in the 1960s. The movie Hidden Figures tells their story of major contributions to NASA. Who are these ladies? I saw this movie. Did you like it? Amazing, amazing, amazing movie. Amazing movie. The book? Too, Great right? movie. Yep. Yeah, I want to read the book first. Yeah. Watch the movie. Great movie. It's amazing the skills that people have, you know? I mean, oh, this is sure. it's amazing. All right, and the answer Catherine Johnson, Dorothy Vaughn, and Mary Jackson. All right, good job, guys. Good job. Good job. Next question. Which famous baseball player said, a life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives? That's heavy. This is an important guy. This is our That's heavy. question about this That's guy. very heavy. Very, very good baseball player. Profound even. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. They made a movie about him. Is that so? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Jackie Robinson. Looks like. All right, we're getting down to the end, so make sure you're putting your answers in the chat. There's still time. Next question. Just so you know, we were told there are three more questions. That's it, three more questions. This woman was a huge part of the Underground Railroad and helped an unaccountable number of slaves escape to their freedom in the North. A lot right. of courage. Yeah. That's that a lot of courage. Absolutely. That Underground Harriet, Railroad. Let's go, guys. Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman. All right. We had a question about Ruby Bridges. So, who is Ruby Bridges? I'm sorry. I asked your question. <laughs> yes. Yes, guys. The question Who is Ruby Bridges? What was she known for? Must be a variety of things, man. Like, wow. Yeah. Who is Ruby Bridges? All right. She was the first black child to attend an all-white public elementary school in Louisiana. All, All right, right. this, this is, is the last question. Question of the night. The last question. So let's get it on. Ready? Bang. <laughs> in what sport did Jesse Owens win four gold medals during a single Olympic Games? Oh, talk about an unbelievable athlete. Oh, my goodness. What unbelievable. was his sport? All right, and the answer was track and field. Track and field. All right, Good guys. Job, Woo! Good job. Good job, guys. Great job. Another great Black History Jeopardy. So I we're wonder going... who, you think Jalen held, held on to the lead? I don't know. I wonder I if know. she held on to the lead. All right, our judges are calculating the All score. right, guys. The clock is ticking. They're tolling so we'll all the say, points up. We'll see who the top five are. Who's going to have bragging rights at Monhagen? Oh, yeah. Bragging rights. Bragging rights is important. Prizes. That's right. Bragging rights. We got some good prizes here. Let's 
be. I'm still unsure why those superheroes <laughs> came here. I, I I don't get it. Shouldn't they, shouldn't they have been out there? They're very irresponsible. I, I don't understand this. But they're they're good question askers. They're good, <laughs> they're good question <laughs> askers. That's why we keep having them back. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have oh. a tie. Okay. So in uh, fifth, fourth place, fifth is, is Dijon McInnes. Good job. Good job. All right. So tie, tied for third is Jamie Buchanan and Jacob Glover. Good, Good job, job guys. guys. Good job. In second place, Joven Manning. All right. And number one, she takes it all. She takes the cake for third annual Black History Jeopardy, Jalen Harmon. You got it, Jalen. All Yay. right. The president of Monhagen got it. Good job. We're so proud of you. President of Student Council. Wonderful job. Great job, president guys. President Harmon. All right. Well, thank you, and we'll see you next year. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. All right. See you later. Thank you so much for attending. <laughs>